Compared to 20 years ago, if you go down to the beach today, you'll be in for a big surprise. Bathing water quality in England and Wales has improved dramatically. 20 years ago, 78% of our bathing waters met the um, European standard, whereas today, 97% of our bathing waters meet the European standard. Water companies have spent £8 billion on improving sewage infrastructure. Our water quality is broadly comparable to other countries in no Northern Europe who have a similar population and a similar climate. You find better water quality in Southern Europe because they have less rainfall. The key factor in bathing water quality is the weather. Heavy rain results in runoff from farms and overflow from drains. The Victorians designed our drains to carry both sewage and storm water. As a result, when there's heavy rainfall, diluted sewage can overflow directly into the sea to prevent it backing up into people's homes or into the streets. That's not ideal, but without combined sewer overflows, there would be a serious public health risk. And with more frequent and heavy downpours due to climate change, the pressure will only increase. We're talking about 19th century infrastructure having to deal with 21st century problems and population and the people who are responsible for upgrading the sewage infrastructure are the water companies. Around 6,000 sewage overflow systems have been improved while another thousand will be completed by next year. This has dramatically reduced the amount of sewage that overflows into the sea, helping meet European standards at almost 500 bathing beaches around the country where the Environment Agency carries out testing. This test is done every week throughout the summer months from April through to the end of September throughout the whole of England and Wales. We have local experts on the ground with years of expertise and if they have any concerns at all about bathing water, if they see anything that shouldn't be there, they will take further samples and we will act upon it. Water quality samples are analysed in a laboratory and weekly updates are provided to local councils. But in the future, the Environment Agency would like to provide beachgoers with daily updates of bathing water quality. We're introducing new technology and new ways of testing which will be able to predict what the water quality is so that people will have real-time daily information instead of a bit of a time lag as there is now. The Environment Agency have even started using state-of-the-art DNA technology to better identify whether pollution is coming from animal or human waste. This will help identify farms or water companies that exceed their pollution limits ahead of tough new European water quality standards to be introduced in 2015. We're not waiting till 2015, we're already working to those stricter standards um, and putting in place um, the technology that we need to do that. We've come a long way but you know there is more to do.